Why didn't the alien want to visit Earth? Because it had a one star rating. <laughs> What up home slices, home fries, and fries of homes of other varieties? So in the live stream you guys requested the Miami alien incident to see what I would get if I channeled. And so I did that for you. I have um, the video of me actually channeling will be on Patreon, but uh, I figured I'd give my results. Without further ado, let's roll the footage. New Year's Day. Take a good look at your screen. Are those aliens walking in front of Bayside Marketplace in downtown Miami? Online conspiracy theorists are saying that shadowy figure, not far from parked Miami police cars, appears to be an alien. I so upon channeling, let's just say Miami in general is a clusterfuck of negative energy and entities and spirits and thought forms and fractals and a whole host of shit. Um, so when I was channeling, I saw a bunch of entities and yeah, not all of them were good. But essentially, you know, the people involved, I saw a lot of like young adults, 16 to 20 year olds, like roughly plus or minus, you know, a few years, but I see them in a group and they look like they're up to no good. They look like they're just dicking around, horsing around, being destructive, and that behavior is very contagious. So it's like, even if there weren't people in the group originally, outsiders watching their behavior then would become cont contagious and then some would join in. Kind of like riots. Actually, very close to riots and looting. But um, I could see the shop owners bracing for looting and just overall damage. And I saw like a cartoon like firework. Have you ever watched like Road Runner and I don't know, is it Coyote? Where like they always try to fuck each other up. That's kind of what I was seeing, but it wasn't like people doing it to each other. It was more of like, it was like a prank, but like a little more past like the prank level. Like, yeah, it was kind of like that energy behind it, but you know, a little bit elevated. So it was quite more than just like a prank. But I did see sparks. I heard loud bangs. I felt the rush of adrenaline and my ear is now ringing. Kind of like if you ever hear like a gunshot or something you're really close to that makes a loud noise and your ears ringing. That's what I'm feeling right now actually. Um... I see the planet Saturn and then I start seeing other planets and I was like, okay, why am I seeing this? And so the first thought I had was this event was predicted in the astrology and this isn't the only location that had something f like fucky or ridiculous happen. Other places around the world did have something go on as well. Um, the group of people had their energy manipulated. And, you know, the fireworks were so loud that people were kind of afraid that it was like a terrorist attack. And that's when the police were called. Because for whatever reason, the sounds were louder than they should have been, if that makes sense. At least that's how Spirit was explaining it to me. It was like there was this echo or just, I don't know how to explain it. It just, the sound was way louder than it should have been and it scared people 
and that's when the police were called and I feel like the police kind of yeah it looked like there were way more police than needed but they didn't know what the heck was going on they weren't sure if there was like a terrorist attack if there was like looting going on like upon the call because the call felt very like chaotic like oh my god I don't know what's going on like that kind of energy and you gotta get here as fast as you can like I don't know what's going on but like who knows what's going on like it sounded worse than it really was because of how the sound traveled, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so, so I drew one of the entities that I saw. Now, like I said, there were a bunch of earthbound spirits. There were, there's a lot of residual energy, energetic imprints, fractal soft forms, among other things. But uh, this is one that I saw and he's the one that's manipulating the energy between the group of people, specifically. And there are entities that can manipulate, like, a bunch of people simultaneously. And to me, it's giving, like, demonic energy or chaos energy. It's just that energy in Miami, first of all, there's a lot of crime, so it's already yucky. Just like here in Philly. Sorry if you hear this, by the way. That's my armrest. Not an EVP. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's a lot of negative energy in Miami. And a lot of entities and a lot of bad things. So it doesn't really surprise me that this entity would be like manipulating the energy of those around them especially those that are um high in emotion people that you can get to overreact over the most trivial thing like they picked out people specifically based off of how reactive they are because it's easier to manipulate them it's, they weren't fully possessed. It's more of an influence kind of thing. But, how oh, I'm getting chest pains. That's what I'm feeling, honestly. And, as for the lights in the sky that people kept, like, reporting, and, you know, there was stuff going on, and I believe in one of Omar's videos, he did a collab with Yasko, and, you know, people reporting lights in the sky, flights being canceled... Yeah, it's because they had helicopters and uh, drones in the sky. Spirit was very loud and clear about that. They didn't want anything, you know, taken off the ground. Just in case it was, you know, terroristic threats or shooting. You know, you don't want to jeopardize people like that. So, anyway, that's what that was about. As for the astrology, I actually, actually asked Chastity to see if she could validate that for me with, like, reading the astrology of that time, that date, and location, because she is the astrologer. I don't really know much about astrology, and I'll be honest, I don't. Like, that's one thing I want to learn, but it's not in the forefront of things of most importance. So... I'll get to it when I get to it, but I wanted to share like her findings for the astrology. One, my name is Chastity, aka the Luminary Luna Beams, and I am Emily's co-host for the Lights of Midnight podcast. So Emily asked me if we could look into the astrology for the day of the Miami Mall incident uh, to see if it would give us any clues in the astrology and you can do uh, places and events and all kinds of stuff with astrology so I'm going to make this kind of brief and I know this looks like a mess but it, for people that don't understand stand or know about astrology but basically this whole wheel represents each zodiac sign there's different houses one through twelve that each have meanings and then all the little things here within the actual um, 
loop is planetary bodies, luminaries, and mathematical points. The is a 360 degree wheel and each like for example we're going to be talking about uh, Uranus or some people know it as Uranus and basically uh, we'll be looking into this today so this causes aspects here in the center so when a planet planetary body meets another planetary body or luminary or asteroid they create uh, soft aspects like trines and sextiles or hard aspects which is, are like squares and oppositions. And uh, you can see by like the colors of the energies a little rougher when they're square in opposition versus trines and sextiles. Okay, now that that's out of the way, um, I know that's a lot, but basically all you have to see here is I wanted to look at certain planetary bodies and I wanted to look at certain houses. So I want to start here in the eighth house. And again, this inner circle is the day that Miami... Um, was basically made into a city or town uh, which was back i believe in 1896 and this outer line here represents the uh day that it happened on january 1st okay so uranus is com commonly known for like upheave change like excitement things that are just unexpected okay and i noticed immediately i went to the eighth house because the eighth house represents mystery and taboo and ghost and spooky things and stuff like that um even that would be considered aliens too but if you want to get over here in the 11th house that could technically be aliens because it's associated with the uh, sign of aquarius but we're just going to keep this very simple as possible so when you notice that Uranus is the planet of like upheave and change for the city itself, um, if you click on this, it shows you the aspects and you can cl clearly see that Mars and Uranus are conjunct, which they're right over top of each other. Mars is the planet of war and action and Uranus again is like change, unexpected things happening in the area of what you would consider where you would find your monsters and your ghosts in the astrology chart and you notice that it's coming straight across 180 degrees and it is some well it's pretty much completely almost lined up in opposition with the uh, natal planet uh, so this will be the natal and this will be the transit what's where the sky is moving it's um but yeah so it's completely opposite and you have just a uh, place of upheave and things that are not expected in the second house, which is where you have your uh, work and your jobs and kind of like daily routines and monies. They were in a mall. Unexpected things happening in the mall in Miami. If you're wanting to look at it that way, it's one of the ways you can look at it. And it causes an issue around fighting and upheave and stuff there was something happening definitely that day in Miami okay and then if you go over here and you look let's see let's see I'm gonna back out of this and then I wanted to talk about um the sixth house here with Neptune so Neptune here is the planet of illusions and dreams and kind of just intuition and mystical stuff and it's sitting in and this is the day again of the Miami mall incident this is the day that Miami was created this is the transit um, it's in the sixth house of like work habits or organization um, services uh, systems the way things are working and operating you have illusions around the way things are operating within that day there's things that are um, you know not as they seem and then you go down here and you see that there is a hard aspect, a square in the third house of communication. So you got to think about like the internet and all that kind of stuff too, if that makes sense. Because you're thinking about the way we talk, the way we communicate. Well, you have illusions around in the third house of communication with the planet Mercury that moves fast, talks fast. There's a lot of fast talking going on that day. Uh, illusions created around the work, the daily routine, things that wasn't expected to happen that day with the fights with the kids or what you would say aliens would be. But you have that around communication. This can show that there is illusion around communication. And also, too, it is roughly squared because it's right dead in the middle. The 
this falls right dead in the middle of Mars again too. So you have uh, fighting about what's happening as a mass, you know, people are saying the aliens didn't, you know, this didn't happen. And then you're saying everybody has a different story. So this is shown here in the astrology. There are conflicting things happening. Okay, so Neptune again in the sixth house, we go up here and we see that Neptune, it's a, it's a loose square because it's not within the the amount of degrees apart because a square creates a 90 degree separation um so it's kind of rough but or it's kind of further apart than i like it to see but the ninth house represents higher learning higher education higher spirituality and again uh, neptune is a planet of dreams intuition and illusion and um actually this neptune's in the sign of pisces so that is also uh, that's it's a home in pisces so that creates even deeper like um mystical illusion type thing going on with pisces because it is a fish in the sea it's like a underwater so a lot of emotions uh squaring to the natal neptune of miami and it is in the ninth house of higher spirituality and learning and stuff like that so a lot you know that could have something to do with um that day as well so let's see i might have one more thing i want to talk about because i don't want to take up too much time uh let's see here okay and then i'll go back to the third house of communication um having this unique semi it's like it's almost like a square but basically you have in the house of communication with communication and like potential fighting you have it back to the eighth house with hygia which is like uh surrounds medical stuff and it also can be uh why you know you have a tons of police out there and see jupiter is generally a lucky planet but you put it in with and you factor all this in it's just bringing in an abundance of different stories different and like how it, it will it will amplify the energy of basically tall tales in a way so I mean, this is just a snippet. You can go a lot deeper into it than this, but it does show that there's actually something happening uh, in the mall that day. It's showing like, you know, unpredictability, unusual routines, potential fighting, potential stories. You know, this this house right here is like internet public. There's a lot going on in this house. But uh, yeah, so personally, it, it, it shows that there could be a lot of tall tales and illusions around what is happening but it does denote fighting so i hope that brings a little clarity in from an astrological standpoint and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that we thought this would be neat to add in um yeah thanks but here's the question some youtubers some uh, paranormal creators and not just other youtubers went down to miami to the Bayside Marketplace to see if they could catch any EVPs and any like spirit box phenomenon and some of them did. So the question is, did they get aliens or did they just get any of the entities and spirits that are around? Well, the answer to that is they picked up to the things that were already around. The There's, again, like I said, multiple earthbound spirits. There's a lot you have other entities as well. And so, duh, you're gonna pick up stuff no matter what, because, you know, entities, and we're not even talking about, you know, the human ones right now. You have entities that are non-human that have existed on this planet before humanity ever existed, okay? And then, if you add in, you know, the humans, from the past that are deceased again they're there as well and it's everyone always is like oh this place is haunted this house is haunted but if you really think about it is it really haunted if you know they've always existed and we're just here noticing it uh uh so it's kind of like yeah, no matter where you go, you're going to probably pick something up with a spirit box or an EVP device or me maybe even a REM pod 
Like you're gonna pick up stuff no matter what. It's just a matter of how often. So I'm gonna go outside and prove my point that no matter what, you're gonna pick something up on, you know, like the Spirit Talker or the Necro whatever app. I have both of them. All right, so I'm outside right now. All right, I'm gonna try the Necrophonic app. There we go. Said here. <laughs> See, I mean, no matter what. Hi, ew. <laughs> So that's this app. Let's go to Spirit Talker. All right, here we go, Spirit Talker. Is there anything here? You understand me. <laughs> it says you understand me. Yeah, I do, because I'm a medium and I can hear you and see you. How did you die? I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. There's a lot of earthies that are here that have died from um, drugs. Who are you? They will get you? They will get you. They can try, but they're not gonna. Anyway, you guys, I rest my case. No matter what, there's entities and spirits around us. Thank you, goodbye. When I looked at that footage, the moment it came out, because let's be real, everyone has their phones out and that shit was on Instagram, like, so fast. Um, yeah, upon looking at the footage, I already knew right away, and Spirit did validate this, I was like, mmm, that's a person, and honestly, I just, <sighs> people are so quick to just be like, aliens! Like the fairly odd parents. Fairy godparents of fairy godparents! So when it comes to aliens and other, like, interdimensional beings, interdimensional means that they, you know, can go through the different realms and dimensions. And so they can, if they wanted to, be th on the 3D plane here on Earth. Or, you know, they just kind of stay in the other realms and dimensions. But good examples of this would be like Bigfoot and some of the other cryptids. Now, I met a big a Bigfoot, um, and he was very much interdimensional. So, when it comes to other aliens, and I've even seen aliens in other, like, I always talk about this experience, but essentially, at my old job, I was sitting there at the desk doing whatever, and all of a sudden, it was like I could see through the layers of dimensions or realms, whatever you want to call it, but I saw an alien that was this big, and he was just walking up some invisible stairs, and I'll never forget that. So I do know for a fact that aliens do exist. I've encountered them, you know, awake but looking through different realms. I've encountered them on the astral realm. I've encountered them in dreams. I've encountered them quite a few different ways. But as far as I know, some of them are very blended in to society and you'll never even know they look like humans. 
There are some that don't look like humans, and they're kind of just like taking or keeping a distance and just staying within the other realms away from humanity's view. So when it comes to this stuff, it's very complicated, honestly. All right, well, I'm gonna cut it here, but uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that there were aliens at the Miami Bayside Marketplace? Or do you think it's just humans and human error with the cameras and just bad quality video? <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Also, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all soon.